Oh, what no. Podcast. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the One Air Podcast. I said welcome back twice there. That is perfect start to season two. Me flubbing the line immediately. The line I say every single time. The only, only line in the entire show that is written down in front of me every time I say it. I'm your host, Nathan. I'm not actually joined by my co-host, Ty Hennessy. I'm actually I'm alone in my bedroom right now. But don't worry, he'll be here. Well, he won't be here. He'll be in the in the episode we recorded that bit earlier. This is this is the future. This is this is a different part. This is the intro. This it's already longer than it was supposed to be, and I've not explained anything that I was supposed to. This is going to need majorly cut down. I'm going to say it. You know what I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, at home, if you've heard the show before, say it with me on the count of three. Professionalism. See, I'm so professional, I didn't even count to three. I don't mind. <laughs> so yes, this is the beginning of our second season, hopefully a more consistent season than the one before. We've got some plans coming up. We'll tell you things as they, as they come up, but, you know, with uh, the state of the world right now, with the lockdown and everything, we figured... Where we cut it was a decent place to stop so we could get our bearings, figure out what we were going to do and hopefully come back with a bigger and, and better show than we had before and genuinely with this first two-part episode, you heard me correct, two-part episode, we've got two episodes coming out this month, yep, if I edit them on time that is, fingers crossed. I really think we have we have something even better than we had before and I think what we had before was functionally acceptable at least. So what we've what we've got in store for you today is a game, I guess, turf that uh, that Ty came up with called Monster Madness. It's essentially uh, a little sports thing, basketball, I think. Uh, there's there there's thirty two monsters, and we argue about who would win in fights. Basically, it's what this is. He'll explain it better in a minute once they, once I cut to the past. I hope I hope he explains it well enough. Honestly, I don't know because I already know how this game works because I played the game. Uh, quick warning before we start. Do be prepared for potential spoilers. Specifically in this episode's case for Terminator 2, Men in Black, The Meg, Freddy vs. Jason, The Ring, and It. Both chapters 1 and 2. So if you haven't seen those, just proceed with caution. Probably. I've probably talked for long enough, I think. Uh, all that's really left to say is welcome to season two. What now? Two back in the habit, ladies and gentlemen. I hand you over now to my wonderful, wonderful, it's wonderful the right word. I hand you over to my competent co host, Ty Hennessy, who is with past me. Peace. Enjoy. What's up, guys? As it is the month of October, what happens in October? It's Halloween. Spooktober. 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 Spooktober, yeah. So, as it is October, as it is coming up Halloween, what's the best thing to do on Halloween, Nathan? Watch monster movies. Watch monster movies. But, who is the best monster? Godzilla. As I'm I'm putting my money down (laughs) now. As... No, it's not going to happen. I'm going to pretend so, you haven't devised the system if to find out. You have, if for some reason you're very strange and very unusual, like me and Nathan are uh, here, um, you would have you would have sat there and wondered, hey, I wonder who'd win in a fight. And so, we're going to do that. Kind of like March Madness, if any, any basketball fans out there, it is 32 teams, monsters, um, and we'll pit them against each other. Now, Nathan has previously put these names, we came up with 32 names, <clears throat> Actually, I think it was 40 and then we eliminated some more. Yeah, we took some out again. Yeah. Um, came up with 32 names. He put them in a random generator and it gave us some really good stuff. So, we're going to go through this. We're going to, yeah, we're going to talk about everything. We're going to dish out the monsters' abilities and we're going to see who is victorious, who is the king of monsters. Who is the, oh, right. <laughs> It's not Godzilla. I'm, I'm making sure. It could, it could be. It could be. It, it really could be. I'm hoping we, it's not We Godzilla. don't know yet. It would maybe be a bit of an anti-climax I'm, if, if the, the king of monsters was... The, the king, king of, of monsters. 
<laughs> so I'm pinning my hopes on someone else. You'll see them later on in the episode. So, so yeah. So how we're going to fix this is we kind of know a bit about these monsters. So to decide a fair who's taken which fighter, Nathan has a coin in his hand. Flip the coin. I don't know why I showed it as if. I showed it to the microphone. I don't know why I pointed you to put the <laughs> yeah. coin either. I'm like, guys, this coin. Professionalism. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do is... Just take a picture of that coin on the table <laughs> yeah. go, this was the coin. Um, so yes, before each fight, uh, as Ty <clears> said, <throat> I put all the 32 names into the random number generator, which... A random name generator, sorry, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm absolutely obsessed with. Oh god, yeah, you are. <laughs> I love that thing. <clears throat> uh... So, obviously, we have fights split into two. So, I'm going to flip this coin. If I land on heads, I'm taking the first fighter. If I land on tails, I'm taking the second. You're actually worse than those kids at school. Pick a number, pick a colour, pick a number, <laughs> pick a colour. <laughs> you were that kid at school, weren't you? I could if I could fold mm. or use scissors effectively. So, our first <clears throat> matchup I have in front of me here is Hollow Man versus Michael Corvin. From the underworld. Pictures movies. will follow. Well, I sure. promise you. If you're watching us on YouTube, we'll show you some photos. If you're listening on Spotify, imagine tough. Google. Um, I dropped the coin. I'm gonna flip this coin. <laughs> I have heads, so I'll be taking Hollow Man. Nice. I got Cor- Michael Corvin. Ty, I'm Michael Cor- so Hollow Man so versus happy. Michael Corvin. <laughs> right. Um, Hollow Man. I'm gonna have an upper bell here. Um, <laughs> what do you what, like? My guy doesn't have as many violent abilities. But they're still up. Being evil. Big <laughs> issue. Well, it's invisible. It's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, yeah. God. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost pleading your case by accident here. Um, what? I'm almost pleading your case by accident. But I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's invisible. But I'm trying to devise a way he could kill him. Or immobilise him. Which is our rules, right? We have yeah, to... Yeah. Some people on this list are immortal, so we've took immobilization as a form of. Oh man, they got at least they got to win the fight, right? Basically, yeah. So yeah, so Michael Corvin is from the Underworld franchise, and um, he is a half vampire, half lycan. He's actually a descendant of the father of all, the father of all of them, um, Michael uh, Alexander Corvinus, who. One of his sons was bitten by a wolf, one of his sons was bitten by a bat. If you don't know who he is, watch the Underworld franchise. They're... Fluctuating. Average out, good. Yeah, average out, they're quite good. But it's great first two movies. I love the sec- third one. Sorry. The fourth and fifth one. The fifth one's not that great. The fourth one is fantastic. Pardon me. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, Michael, yeah, he's a half vampire, half werewolf. So, he has to face an invisible man. Yeah, see, this is this is where my yes, Hollow Man <laughs> doesn't take as much my explanation. He's invisible, yeah, and an awful person, a very awful person, which helps which helps in this case, yeah. in this one case, I'm played by Kevin Bacon. Um, <laughs> that helps. So, yeah, so my big advantage here is as invisible. Uh, yeah, well, you have well, he's a half sorry, not werewolf like in. Half a vampire, even though like in some more or more or less the same thing. What's ginger snaps? They use it. Like as intermittent. <laughs> no, no, sorry. In underworld, they call it werewolves. Were the original ones that couldn't transform yeah. back. Lichens. There's yeah. There's because we're like. There so he's half lichen, half vampire. Yep. Um, <clears> which <throat> in most matchups puts him quite high up, but I just got to get out the way. That's true. But Annoying that me. also then said, "What do I do?" <laughs> <sighs> You can, you can immobilize Michael. It's just you have to, like you have to be stronger than him. That's it. I I've only seen one person immobilize Michael, and uh, even then, like yeah, yeah, I've only seen one person, and he was also, he was, the first person to be bitten by a bat. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> he was also. I, I don't I know as much as I'd like to say it just to win. I don't know. <laughs> If I can get win early, I don't know if I can justify Hollow Man being able to just beat him up. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that could happen. And I reckon Michael could probably just trace his moves. He's pretty good at, like, finding a knife. You know what I mean? Hollow Man. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's... But even then. Uh-huh. Would that do much? If you got him in the right place, yeah. Could I... 
Oh, I hit them. In fact, I'm saying Michael's going to die. Oh, wow. If you got him in the right place, yes. Like, cut his head. He'd have to have access to a sword. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm cheating as far as to go like, I bet Hollow Man has a silver bullet. But, <laughs> you know? but, if you remember the movie, whatever Hollow Man picks up, he see as not a hollow, so he Michael would just Correct, see a yes. knife coming. He would notice him that and just <laughs> grab him. And mm. This is a tough one. To say, like, who, if he's going for the knife, which is, if he's going for a weapon, which is the only way to mobilize Michael, Michael's I, I, need, I need a I need a weapon. But yeah, that goes. Yeah, that does give Michael a <clears throat> the advantage to edge. catch him and kill him. Does Michael win? Uh huh. I don't have a comeback for that. So I think so. I think Michael wins. I think we've given this to, to Mago. Oh, yeah. Michael Corvin moves on to our next round, which leads us to our second matchup. Here's flip a, the coin. I'm going to flip the coin. Yeah, well, I'll announce them first. Yeah. So here's a here's a good one. All classic old school monster fans have thought of before. This is Godzilla versus Frankenstein's monster. I'm going to flip this coin. Please be heads. <laughs> I want to win. So I've got tails. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm just the fine Frankenstein's monster. <clears throat> That's how you take Godzilla. So. Oh, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to go through abilities. <laughs> I was just going to go through abilities. Just say it. Just say what happens. It's just, we all know. Just. Just, you know, he's got sonic breath and he's really big and, you know, all that stuff. Like, what could Frankenstein do? He threw a girl in a lake. <laughs> what movie? <laughs> it, 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 the... Original. Yeah, he <clears throat> everybody's playing with the girl, and she's like, "Look at my." She's like picking flowers on it. He's like, "Oh, cool!" He's gonna launch. He yeets her into the, <laughs> into the pond or whatever. He helped Kate Beckinsale de- uh... defeat uh, Dracula's brides <laughs> and Van Helsing. And let's, a, let's blanket rule say that every incarnation of any of these characters in Van Helsing is wildly inaccurate. He also he he also acted alongside um, Daniel Radcliffe and no. <laughs> did um, what's his name? Uh, that that might be Play Professor X. Uh, James McAvoy. James McAvoy. That'd be one of the worst interpretations of that story I've ever seen. I was going to say James Franco. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> I was like, when you said <laughs> active, I I really thought you were going to do. Um, a reference to the putting on the Ritz scene from Young Frankenstein. I'm not seeing Young Frankenstein. I just watched Young <clears> Frankenstein. <throat> it's really good. That's that's, that's a good Halloween movie. If I, I'm Young sto- Dracula. I'm stalling right now yeah. so that this section's as long as the other one before you say <clears> the inevitable. <laughs> I prefer Young Dracula. Young Dracula. Young Dracula is a good show. Can't find it. Right. So, <clears throat> as much as I hate it because I don't want Godzilla to win, he wins this fight. Yeah. Because Frankenstein, although to a man, is huge. Absolutely, yeah. Like, Frankenstein could easily just... Could probably have beat Michael. Easily. Probably, that would have been a fairer fight. That would have been a fairer fight. But then it would have been Hollow Man versus... I reckon Hollow Man could have defeated Godzilla. The, the issue... That's why it's fun... Because Godzilla wouldn't like have this, seen yeah. a, wee, a wee knife. Like That's what's... That's what's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Though. But, yeah. In this exact situation, Frank... Yeah, Frankenstein's monster is... An incredibly tough thing to kill, Very. as is the point of most incarnations of Frankenstein. Yeah, but no. <laughs> so you has, just get stepped on here. Let's just go. Fu- no, no, he doesn't step. He, he bends down. Oh. He picks him up, and Sonic breasts his whole upper body off. I thought you were gonna say he throws <clears> him <throat> in the sea. No, or, yeah, just, <laughs> just or even a revenge. Oh no, that's Kong. <laughs> Kong would do that, yeah. right? Uh, it um, just goes stink. That I think you've won again here, though. <clears throat> But justifying, uh, to be fair, justifying the character, you don't want to win. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the only thing. But we'll, we'll are, are we holding your prediction until we get to that one? Yeah, because Cause I was like, Maynard's he's got within like. the first two fights. Okay, <clears throat> here's a fun, here's a fun one. To, no, it's not fun. It's not fun. I don't okay, want it. I'm going to, right. There's going to be a big fight. Though. I'm going to, yeah, this one, this okay. one's fun for me because this is the only one Ty doesn't want to think about because uh. the only character Ty is genuinely afraid of on here and it's the only one from a PG rated movie. Yes. <laughs> so we're doing The Thing versus The Other Mother from Coraline. <laughs> right, I'm going to flip. Please be Tails. I've got Tails. I'm, I'm taking The Other Mother. God. Ty, you're on The Thing. Ew. <laughs> 
By the way, this is not the thing from Fantastic Four. This is no. the thing from The Thing. So yeah, I should have made that clear. This is not the, the guy that poops out rocks, the guy that poops out human beings. The, yeah, the <clears throat> shapeshifter. The shapeshifting virus? No. Of whatever it is from the John Carpenter movie. No. The Thing can assimilate its victims, which means it can take its form. Well, actually, that's something, that's something we've not actually noticed. So, one thing I forgot to mention, you... <clears throat> so, in this world, there will be some monsters that you look at it and go, wait, that doesn't work. Like, some people have to be summoned. Some people, you have yes. to be in a certain state. Some people have to be in a completely different... Um form of um reality not no 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 the the not on ground <laughs> oh yeah you know what I mean? um that that's a word like it's a, a different consistency of well, material in this case i think it's really just some of them are underwater <laughs> one is it only one one <laughs> it's just one yeah all i guess only, only well, one technically is, only one is 100 percent under has under. To be under underwater the other one kind of can be okay, yeah me and then the uh, there's another one who the goes through it uh, goes through water. I, I think that basically to the, the easiest way to explain you know, the rule we've gone for shit pipes. <laughs> the way we've gone for it with this situation is that we don't care. Yeah. And we're just gonna see, we're gonna say them at their most full power. Yeah. At their most likely to kill something is how yeah. we're doing this. So the other mothers in final form. Which means yes. Yay. When we talk about the other mother, we're <clears> talking. <throat> well, she's not baking cookies. She's she's a, a weird spider lady. The battle of the shapeshifters here. You better a bit more. put that picture up so you can horrify people with that picture. Just just the final. The one. end of Coraline. <gasps> Such a good movie. Sure. Either two of my favorite movies on this list, I think actually. Coraline and, and the thing. Oh yeah. I really like the thing. Okay, so now I'm 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 gonna have to pass on the Coraline and the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got other movies on this list that I love. There's a lot I do have on here. Right, so, the thing can assimilate his victims. <laughs> it takes a minute. Yeah, that, see, that's... That's my issue in this fight, really. Because mm. the other mother... Yeah, her big thing is... She's a, she's a trickster, really. Yeah. You know, she yeah, she, she can mm. lure you in to a false sense of security. <laughs> I, am, I don't know if I can do that here to the thing. No. Um, but she's also... Mental. Yes. Which helps. And yeah, and... And partially made of metal. <clears throat> and it's you. It's hard to tell with that. Because she's like, yeah, she's got those weird little legs. spidery legs. Yeah. Dark octopus stuff. Kind of like lo- lost in space. <clears throat> Can I have my weird bugs? Full power. Yeah, so I've got my weird bugs. So yeah. they can... So, so that's a distraction. It's kind of like just based off the dude from Lost in Space. You know the the Matt LeBlanc movie, Gary Oldman movie. <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> but he's a spider dude, and he has lots of spiders that he can control. I've got just because it's a Neil Gaiman story. I've got just a sneak sneak suspicion that the fact that she's part spider by the end is maybe from Stephen King's it. <laughs> oh, I remember that bit. Yeah. Which we'll get to. Um, <laughs> <sighs> So yeah, so yeah, I can, I've got the the weird bug furniture. That's that's a distraction. No, oh, yeah. The, the thing is not a tactician. Mm-mm. He's smart and he can learn mm. your patterns, but he's not gonna be like, I know which one to kill. Yeah. He'll be like, I'll kill everything. I also don't think I've got a flamethrower. So <laughs> it's true, <right? laughs> but it's just a mobilization. So I can't think of another way to mobilize the thing. Really, no, other than set him on fire. <clears throat> True. Um, oh. <laughs> you hate it because she's lost, eh? I'm losing again. <laughs> it's not you, it's the, 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 the... We should do points. It's the coin. Well, I'm two points up, bro. You are, yeah. Do you want me I, to I don't get know a little thing on my phone? Um, Tiny, I'll just put a little point meter, or do you want to be fancy on your laptop? Uh, yeah, you could do it on your phone, actually. Because then I'll... I can keep this open. Sh- I'll cut this bit. <laughs> as much as I haven't figured out a way... I can take out the thing here. We've also not established a way the thing can take out the other mother. Bless you. The only thing you can think of is that he assimilates her and then takes her powers. Just eats her. Hmm? Just, yeah. Yeah, so we're giving you this one then. I, I, 
Yeah, sure. The thing, the thing takes out the other mother. Well, that'd be a cool one to have in the... Yeah, well. I'm, lo- I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Here's a good one, yeah. Yeah, because I'm happy with either one of those. This one, this is another fun matchup. In the same way, like, Godzilla and Frankenstein, those are like... Sorry, Frankenstein's monster, because someone will comment it. Yep. <laughs> Godzilla and Frankenstein's monster is like... These are like classics, like all time. This one, we've got old school... Universal monster here versus, versus new school. very new school. We're talking the oh, one very new well, school. I guess I'm older than I think I am. <laughs> How do you think I feel? How so, old were you when you saw this? The second monster. Well, I mean, the movie came out when I was two, <laughs> so like. So I was nine. Yeah. Shut up. Um. Yeah. Go. One of the first VHSs I owned. Um. Oh wow! I had the orange. I don't know we haven't told them what it is. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so we're talking um, tangents. First one, yeah, proper old school Universal. We're talking the Wolfman, classic creature, and he's going up against from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Basilisk. Who are you getting? Let's find out. I'm cool either way. I'm honest. good either way. I'm I'm more than happy. That's a terrible flip, but I I'm heads. I have the Wolfman. I'm so happy because you I get know to, how you get to do the Harry Potter. I know how I'm winning this. <laughs> I don't need to think about Harry Potter. You're going to hate me. Have you got a point already? I have a point. Have you already figured this out? Yes. Okay, I um, I haven't figured anything out, so on you go. I'll try and debate against what you. What happens when you look into the basilisk's eyes? <laughs> you... That is a great <laughs> point. But we discussed this before. Does it only work on humans? No, because Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Norris, yes. Um, why am I saying it to you? Um, Fight me. <laughs> that's a victorious one, young one. So, does in this situation, does the wolfman know what a basilisk is? No. No one knows. No, they don't know what each other is. <laughs> they have to figure each other out. Because, right, could just, just hypothetically, right? Michael would have if, just... If, be... if someone whispered into wolfman's ears and be like, yo, just don't make eye contact. You know? No. I feel no, no, like... no, no, no. Not whispering in each other's ears. <laughs> there was none of that. Because Michael, because Hollow Man would have just told, hey, get a knife and kind of like put it in your body for it, like put it like in your mouth or something. Like a really close one and slit his throat. No, no talking. Because you just got to think, if they were, if Michael and Hollow Man were put in a room together, he'd just have to watch someone take like, the wraps off and take his clothes off. He's like, <laughs> So, because they can you, definitely, you have to be the death zone. Because yeah, but like, <clears throat> Jeff, yeah, he's trying to make sure the Basilis doesn't win. <laughs> I, I get to put a Harry Potter thing in my titles. Oh yeah, she's definitely going to watch it. I've got a Harry Potter tag here. No, she's going to skip just to the Harry Potter bit and then just leave the rest of it. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, if, yes, if, if the Wolfman was able to come up behind the Basilisk, oh, yeah. then yeah, like you can just rip it to pieces. Granted. But but if it turns around <laughs> It's a really fast snake for some reason. Being like a hundred feet long. Is it was it like a hundred feet? No, no. No, it's not a hundred feet. It's really long. <laughs> it is really long. Oh it's fifty feet. AKA big ass snake. Yeah. The wolfman is really fast and agile. Yeah. As a wolf. So that's what I'm saying. If it knows not to look in the basilisk's eyes, it, wouldn't. it, it can wouldn't. very easily avoid the basilisk there. But by the time he's realised what the basilisk there does, it's maybe too late. Yeah, he'd have to literally close his eyes, get up, scratch the basilisk's eyes out, and then go for it. But can he do that in the time the basilisk just goes, looks up like this? That's I don't even know if the basilisk knows it's doing that. You know what I mean? No, I'd probably just look at him. Like, it's not very... Yeah, it's just sort of... It... it I mean, I'll be corrected if I'm wrong. Uh, oh by, yeah. by my own girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but in from what I remember from Chamber of Secrets, the basilisk is more just... Controlled by yeah, Tom Riddle. He's not, he's not the... He's just moving about. He's just living his life. It just so happens that if you look in its eyes, you get petrified. Well, no. Because if you remember, Tom Riddle opened the Chamber of Secrets to get rid of all Muggleborns. Yeah. No Tom Riddle. No Tom Riddle. Yeah, Voldemort. Yeah, Tom Riddle. 
Yeah, sorry. God, brain Tom fart. Sorry, Jenny. Marvolo Riddle or something. Marvolo. Marvolo. Wow. Tom Malfoy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Petrificus Totalis Mal... <laughs> nah. Um. So. Tom Hardy. Uh, <laughs> open the gym for Tom Holland. Oh, and Tom Hiddleston. And Tom Hiddleston. There's so many Tom Hages. Why did, why did Tom Holland as Voldemort? All British. <laughs> All British. Oh, I opened the chamber of secrets to the Red of Muggleborns. <laughs> so, that's my impression of Tom Holland. Can you imagine, though? Can you imagine coming out the toilets at school and just seeing a giant <laughs> ass steak just stare, stare at you? It does happen within a second, though. As Mona Mortal describes. It, 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 she it, came out, saw a big pair of yellow eyes. Yeah. Nothing. But she was a distance away from the thing, so it must have, like, a long gaze. Because remember, she, she yeah. haunts the toilet that she was dead in. It was over at the sink. It def- yeah, it can definitely. So it has been purposed by Tom Riddle too. Shut up, Google. That was. The- <laughs> what did Google just say? According. All oh, right. Then she try saying something about the weather. Crap, we're in Scotland. I'm yeah, sorry. but um, I think in this situation as well, though, Tom Riddle, yeah, being in control of the the basilisk. He would have purposed that. Is he, why? But why? Why are you against the Wolfman? He'd like the Wolfman. Don't, don't, don't. Su- He's got a Wolfman, mate. Do you want me to move? What's his name? Greyback? Fenrir. <laughs> and. <laughs> the, the Grey starring Liam Neeson. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> starring two actors I no longer give a crap about? Um. Right. D- yep. <laughs> so. No, because you said full purpose, they're going to kill or maim. Well, yeah, they they have to. But in a situation like the basilisk, and there's there's more coming up. Do you want me? He's just Jenny? not got reasoning. Do you want me video? Do you want me video call Jenny <laughs> on Facebook? And she's like, "Hey, does the basilisk know he can kill people by staring at it?" He's just the snakes don't like call Jenny. No, we're not calling Jenny. Call Jenny. No, she'll. She'll yell at us later if we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be yelled at later. We yelled at now I'll, on mic. I'll make an apology video. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a continuous... <laughs> <laughs> You've got your hair flip a couple of times and, like, put some vibes in your eyes. Do that in my videos anyway. Put some vibes in your eyes. It looks like you're crying. I think you are right. You, yeah, you... But I'm, I, I'm trying to make your case because the, the I'm just trying is to, agile. I'm just trying to win. And we get, what's happening. And we get hits in. Get hell of hits yeah. in, but unless he got its eyes out, which I don't think the Wolfman would do. Is it the Wolfman? I mean, if threatened, yeah, he's gonna be bouncing about. He's not gonna be still for long enough no. to be caught. In. But he's also an arrogant character, yes. and he's good. He's gonna stop to taunt for a bit, and as soon as he does that, he's gone. Now. He's so, dead. Um, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I need to win one. You do, yes. <laughs> You're welcome, Jenny. Is that four? Basilisk. Yeah, it's four now. It's four or nothing. I, I hope you get heads because I've got a point for that one as well. If you, if I get the first fighter, oh, I'm yeah, losing. I, 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 no matter what, I'm losing. I think I know the yeah, the argument to be made here. Yeah. So um, our next fight is The Blob. From The Blob. From The Blob. Not uh, from X-Men. Versus, yeah, correct. Yes, that's in order. Versus The Terminator. By which, of course, we mean the T-800. Yeah, not the T-1000. Oh, that'd be uh, horrible. As much as we love the T-1000, we're talking the original T-1000. recipe Terminator. Because... And not the T... The female one. No, the, that was dumb. The um, the other ones. Not not anything from any of the bad movies. <laughs> Just everything after Judgment not, Day. Do you remember um, the Christ- a coin. Do you remember the Christian Bale one? Uh, Salvation. That's on heads. If you, Unless you wait. I'm going to flip that again. So I just dropped it. <sighs> Suspense. There we go. That's a flip. Heads. <laughs> yes. So I've got the blob. You got the Terminator. Yes. Um. Now, tell me what the blob does. Well, the blob is just gonna. It just kind of absorbs whatever into it, and then digests it and gets bigger. So. Does it though? Well, yeah. Does it absorb everything? Well, it, that it wants to. Organic material. Can only work. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Ah, not all of the Terminators are getting material. Nope, he's made of metal. He's got skin though, right? Yeah, he has. And it, it, so he's eat the skin. It is organic, but 
would be then the metal Terminator. We've seen from... that happen to the Terminator. Had... You know, like slices, rips his skin off. We haven't seen it happen fully. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it happened fully to the T one, the T eight hundred. But we've seen it enough with other incarnations of Terminator that we've seen it. Like he's blown pieces. He's bent to pieces. Yeah. Like lost bits of like half his face and stuff like that. He has also died. <laughs> yeah. Because it's spoilers for Terminator 2. Um, he can die, but do you know what the thing is? In that, in that case, he's melted, though. He's melted. The Terminator needs weapons. He doesn't have weapons. He's just. Uh, You're right. He's Wolverine without the skin. All of the Terminator actually, yeah, just carry it. Yeah, it just. It doesn't. That is completely off topic. That is, to this day, one of the coolest things, special effect ones I've ever seen, even yeah. though it's a little dated now. Yeah. Terminator 2 uh-huh. and the T 1000. Because uh, it can do that liquid metal thing, yeah. It goes through the bars, oh, so yeah. it, but its gun gets stuck, yeah. And he has to like move it. To move it, so cool. That that scene when he walks, I'll in the try bar, and put that in the video if I can. When he walks in the bar, it's like and your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> Great scene, but from a clip I remember of the blob, he did roll over street signs mm-hmm. and dissolve them, which are made of metal. I think it would take longer, it would take longer. Could. But the Terminator has nothing. Well, he could punch from the inside. Great, he's punching a blob. He's, he's punching bu- jelly. He punches way out. <laughs> then what? Run. <laughs> the blob's weak. The bl- oh, I'm, I'm the blob. No, I'm not going to say I'm my... I'm giving you it. I'm going to say I'm, my I'm actually giving you winning. The blob wins. We're going to give... There's... there's La- n- ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you ever want to question our integrity, we just said the blob beats the Terminator in a fight. <laughs> Because just because they're at full power doesn't mean that it's not like another fight on the list who has weapons on You're them. You're very, you are very right. At full power does not mean he has the shotgun. No, because if would it need, was a liquid metal he, he would one, need to go get a shotgun. There's a T one thousand. Then yeah, we. This would be a different story. I I feel like I could still argue. Although I did well, argue that Hollow Man would give away his position to Michael if he grabbed a knife. So technically, we're allowing them to get weapons. But that's Hollow Man being someone that's just crafty. True, Kevin Bacon looks like he carries a knife around with him. Anytime the Terminator's like got a gun, there's a, a process to this. I haven't I haven't looked at this since writing it, so yeah. I don't know. Oh wow. But right now, maybe the dumbest fight we have on here. Yeah, because it's got a clear winner. It is the Meg versus Edgar. Edgar, by the way, is uh the Giant Cockroach giant from, cockroach Black from, from, <laughs> from the original Men in Black. Um Let's flip the coin. Okay, I've got Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take the Meg? Ed, the, the, the Meg no, from... No, I don't want to take the Meg. The, the Meg from Me- from Megalodon, the giant yes. giant shark from the was Jason, defeated by Jason by Jason Statham. Statham. From the Jason Statham. Great. No, oh, I love that scene, though. Just when he's like, oh, God, it's great. <laughs> what can Edgar do? Edgar's a giant cockroach. Edgar is a giant cockroach. Who got spoiled? By the way, if you don't know already, there are spoilers in this video because we're telling you how these things probably died. I should, I should add that up. I should add that up top. I'll say yeah, there'll be spoilers for a lot of films. Edgar did there'll, get... be, there'll be time codes in the description if there's something you're like, I really don't want to know how Men in Black ended, even though it came out twenty years ago, like nineteen ninety something. No, it's nineteen ninety seven, I think. So that's why. So it was like thirteen years ago. Twenty three. <laughs> what? Twenty three. Am I being an idiot? I am being an idiot. Sorry, dude. Wow. <laughs> I'm doing bad math. Do, kid you not, the other day, like yesterday at work, I figured out what 12 times 22 was, like within seconds. And I couldn't remember. I couldn't <laughs> figure out what 220 to 1997 is. So yeah, so yeah, spoilers for the end of Men in Black. Um, he gets blown up by Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones blows up. But Tommy Lee Jones blows him up by getting eaten. Yes. And then shooting him with a big gun. A very specific mm-hmm. method of death. Now, I'm going to... Who gets a big shark? I'm going to prove a point. <laughs> Go over it. And it actually makes it look like I'm losing. Okay. Now, remember Edgar's hands? Cockroaches have the really yeah. sharp things. Cockroaches don't really die that easily. The no. Megs... Huge. Probably swallow Edgar whole. Alive. And Edgar could just, you know, 
Remember Guns of the Galaxy 2 with Drax? Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. He could kill... Oh my he god, no, could. no, I'm not... Proving could, a point that the Meg would. Edgar kills a Meg. From the inside. He can just slice his way out. And in water... What else is in water? Other sharks. Yeah. How does the Meg die? In the Meg. Does the Meg die in the Meg? Jason Statham slices his... Hang on, yeah. other sharks appear and eat it oh, to yeah. death. So I'm thinking the end of Jaws. Holy crap! <laughs> right, yeah. Edgar wins. Yeah, kills its way from the inside. I I, I feel like I, kind of poetic justice, isn't it? I feel like in this situation, Edgar drowns quite quickly afterwards. But no, it's a cockroach. The Megas died first. Do, do cockroaches drown? I have no idea. Right. I also can't be bothered googling it. So. Again, yell at me in the comment section if you did a factual error. I proved my own point. I was like, oh, that clearly the Meg's going to win. There we go. We've got Randy one behemoth. No. Oh, man, that would have been a solid just, fight as well. Can you imagine the Meg versus Godzilla? Just so everyone is aware, into our <laughs> um, next round, once we get to it, uh, both the Blob and Edgar from Men in Black are that little bit closer to being crowned as the King of Monsters. <laughs> so... Anyway. No, they're not. Because the one I'm pitting not for... They're going to win. The one I'm pitting for would murder both of those. Right. Easily. Right. It's so next. Oh, God. So, next up, we Please have... Get ahead, because I'm, I'm taking here's, it. Here's a, this is a, a, a slasher. A slasher up here. Definitely. First, uh, these are first... Unless you get the Terminator, these are a first slasher. Terminator's not a slasher. Or Hollow Man, I guess. Hollow Man's not a slasher. These are, these are old school... Mm. Knife brandishing mm-hmm. slashers here. We've got the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers. my boy Jason Voorhees yeah. from the Friday the 13th franchise. Not, not the new one, not Jason Takes My Man. Uh, technically, I mean, th- say what you want about the awful Friday the 13th sequels. Mm. They've, they've never misinterpreted Jason. That's true. I'll, I'll give, give them you that. that. Everyone you else that. is terrible. <laughs> right, I'm going to flip this coin. I don't really care where it's into that one. I kind of do. Don't want the point. Tails. Damn I'm it. taking Jason. You've got the creeper. So the creeper's main objective is to take your eyes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. What does Jason lack? I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you something here. Okay. Because I know you've not seen Jeepers Creepers three. Not re- No. It, weirdly enough, it's on Netflix right now. Is it? Yes. Just Jeepers Creepers three. <laughs> Just three. Not worth it. Because um, I was going through, Asher was like, yeah, it's, they've updated the horror section. I'm looking going, yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, so Jeepers Creepers 3. Um, uh, there's hints of this in the other two from what I remember, but I've seen three most recently, mm-hmm. unfortunately. <laughs> I really don't like that movie. Um, but yeah, in that one, there's a lot more self-defense from the Creeper. Oh, really? There's a lot of, yeah, uh, the Creeper, well, what, he wants to stay alive, basically. You know, so I think if if he sees Jason as enough of a threat, he's gonna take him out, regardless of the eye thing. I have a thing. Go for it. Super scooper can fly. He can fly. He's like a weird bat creature thing. Pick him up <laughs> and take him up. Pick him up and, and just chop his head from like high. As my thing with, with Jason. And though. if he drops him on his head, or even just flies him down straight, like. Head first. Is that enough to mobilize Jason? I feel like if he just dropped him, Jason's just gonna. He's just gonna pencil feet. drop and land on his feet. Yeah. yeah. So if he like Jason. dragged him down. I don't know if that. Would it, I, that's my thing. Yeah, with, okay, it's like Jason. Well, he's immoral, so it would have to oh, be a mobilization. Yeah. Yeah. So we're breaking Jason's neck and mobilise him. I don't know if it would. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't, because Freddy does it in the movie. Yeah, I think and he'd, just, he'd just get back up. He's mad. You just get back up and I reckon just machete you. rip his wings <laughs> off, and he does actually have the machete. Yep, he would have a machete in this situation, and he'd, yeah, just... A pretty clear, mate. Jason takes us. I knew J- it. Jason, Jason takes Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun in the hood. <laughs> I forgot that movie existed in the right now. Um, <laughs> oh god, I've never seen it before in my life, but oh my god. Oh god. 
Here's an interesting one. Right. See the second part. You better pick a suitable picture because if you pick that, the <laughs> half, the half and half one, I'm a, I'm a kick. I love that the, the characters. Kick your the ass. characters you're most afraid of on this list are the ones that are in kids' movies. I'm not afraid of it. I just don't <laughs> like it. Full, full. You're gonna have no such. Full mummy. Fine. Full human. Fine. Except for that big long jobber. But the half mummy, the the bit where he's walking through the streets, I hate that. Um, so the character Ty is talking about is our tales for this emotep. I get cough, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> is it emotep from the the mummy franchise? Don't worry, that get was. Out. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll continue this myself. <laughs> You're just flipping coins and arguing with <laughs> them. So who do you think wins? Well, it's me anyway. So emotep is up against King Kong. Now this is original. Which, yeah, we're not doing. This is not Kong Skull Island. We won't be doing Kong Skull Island because that is very clearly a different character than the original. Yeah, because he's like Walking. Godzilla sized. <laughs> yeah, he has to be. He has to well, fight yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, he's gonna fight Godzilla next year. You know, but, he's a teenager. But and he's not fully grown. A fully, a fully grown King Kong should be able to scale the Empire State Building. Kong Skull Island Kong fully grown would step on the Empire State Building yeah maybe yeah uh... alright anyway, I'll flip this coin uh, heads I'm on King Kong well I pick him up <laughs> do you yes do, do you pick him up yep do you step one good Just pick him up in one hand good oh, are you going to turn to sand or something nope if you have not seen the Mummy franchise, the um, emote of the person in question has control of the seven plagues of Egypt. One of those seven plagues was Nathan locusts. Ooh, I like that. I like and he that. actually makes them appear. He can. What did locusts do? <laughs> Take skin. <laughs> and it's a plague as well, so it's not even. Not even like you I, could swat them away. And Locusts yeah. are like this size. Cause, cause K- King Kong is is one of the all time great swatters. <laughs> great swatter, but that's yeah, uh, yeah. It's a lot. Locusts are what that size? Well, oh, I mean, I feel like just for revenge, I feel like he'd he'd still lob him off a wall. Probably once he's done that. But wow. Emotep is in full form, immortal, and he has at full power. In full form, he is immortal. The, he can only be killed by the in this petals. In this situation, they're both slightly immobilized, but I, I might take the answer. King Kong is more immobilized because he's gonna die <laughs> very soon, and Evo Tep's just a bit. He's gonna be a bit sore. Dis- he's a bit disorientated for a, a, a minute. <laughs> yeah. And Brendan Fraser run and we go no. Like yeah. insert clip from Mummy Returns. Yeah. <laughs> just. It's, do you know, one bit I love like Brendan Fraser's a great actor I love, him. I love Brendan Fraser it sucks what happened to him well the mummy was broken physically yeah I, all poor guy the, so it's the bit where those uh, where Emo Tip summons these like crawling wall mo- mummies and she so looks at him and goes ah! <laughs> why would you scream at one <laughs> it's like you fought one mummy the same mummy twice <laughs> I'm up I'm uh, taking this one? Yeah, we'll give that to you with that. That's it. I don't like it, but yeah, you better show I'm full just... human. Or else I've got right, real we are, upset. We are halfway through our heats here. <coughs> okay, my turn now. I'm not looking forward to that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a great place for you to start. Yes. Let's all spin this for a little Perfect. Bit. So, our next fight, coming in at my pick, smart move, is Carrie from the movie Carrie versus the Xenomorph. From Alien. This, this is a fun Yo, one. DJ, flip that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I actually hate you. I actually hate you. May the record show I, I flipped the heads, which means I will be taking carry for this fight and I will be needing to justify the I'll Xenomorph. The I'll take the L. I don't care. I'll take the L. I won't give you the point. I'll take the L. I don't care. Give, 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 give it a bit. Okay. <laughs> what can Carrie do, bit. Nathan? Oh, <laughs> Carrie tell him. Telekinetic. Yeah. I was going to say pathic, but also, that's true, it'll help me. <laughs> Bad crap, crazy. She's also mental. Yeah. Mental. Um, she's, 
basically, yeah, she's she's telekinetic and mental. Yeah. She's a Stephen King character. Yeah. The xenomorph. <laughs> all of them. Can uh, it bleeds acid, doesn't it? Yes. So, uh, xenomorph can bleed acid. Also has that tongue. And just a it, bunch right? of spiky bits. A bunch of spiky bits. It will bits. just stab you. Yeah. But again, I, I 100% believe that if someone was trying to stab Carrie, Carrie would just telekinetically crush stop it. Stop that happening. Yeah. And she would, flipped she, a car. Yeah. She wouldn't even just like crush him immediately. She, she'd be slow. Yeah. She'd like remove his limbs one by one. Yeah. <laughs> just watch it bleed out. Yeah. And then stay away that from was the a blood. disturbing image. Stay away from the blood because it's acid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine drop, dropping that on the prom queen. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't coming back from that, love. Oh, I just dropped my coin. Well, let, let's take a brief recess while I find my coin. That's oh, it's on my chair. I thought it went underneath there. So yeah. Okay, so. We're giving this to Gary? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. For that incredibly disturbing image I came up with. I, I want to see that now. I, want to, I, I wish we had like a an animator friend that could just go, yeah, I could make this happen. I feel like we, we have friends that are capable of it, but I don't think any of them are going to want to animate. No. Carrie, just meticulously ripping, apart, ripping the limbs off a of xenomorph. Oh, I wish I could animate right now. That'd be so good. Uh, I would really show it. I don't know why. Here's... All right. It was one of the more, again, more ridiculous ones. Just out of, like, how? Yeah. How did this happen? Okay, so, coming in next is The Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth versus Mike Myers. And no, not the comedian, the guy with... Austin Powers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. Halloween franchise. Which you're wearing. I am wearing my, my Halloween t-shirt. I love it. John Carpenter's Halloween. I'm wait, wait, wait. I'm, we're both wearing horror t-shirts. We are. We didn't even do that on purpose. Well, I did. I, wore, I had to wear this. If you don't know, I'm wearing my Hail to the King Baby t-shirt from Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. The one that rips the crap out of everyone. Flip the coin, dude. Uh, I'm going to flip that again because it's such a terrible... I just threw it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. There we go. Tails. I'm taking Mike Michael. Michael. I'm You've taking Pale, Pale Man, who I know nothing about. <laughs> this will be fun because you've not seen Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> no. What could he actually... What could the Pale Man... Oh god, I actually read this. Can I do, do I do a quick Google? Um. Well, I can. Uh, I can talk through. It's yeah. It's a, a, a ten minute scene in a rather yeah. long movie. Horrifying though. Like the 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 one scene. Horrifying to look at. I think the yeah. It's masterful. Masterful. Yeah. If you if you haven't seen Pan's Labyrinth, like Ty, do. <laughs> if you love your weird off the wall fantasy movies, look at Donny. If you love your Call me Donny Dark, like Donny Dark. Yeah. <laughs> also watch that. I like Scott. <laughs> are you naming? Don't watch Scott Pilgrim. Are you naming <laughs> like nerdy characters from things? Yeah. Because you're a nerd. Well, in Donny Darko, he he does take his his date to see the Evil Dead. I like it already. I still hate Jude John Hall though. You hate? Oh, fuck. oh right. But... For a second, I thought you meant as an actor. But do you mean because he's mysterious? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, the Pale Man. <laughs> We're off track. We always do. Talking about fun. Spider-Man, though. Yeah. The Pale Man. Um, yeah, all we really... Yeah, yeah, this will take speculation on our part, I think. Puts his uh, eyes in his hands. Obviously, yes. But his eyes are in his... Well, his eyes aren't always in his hands. His eyes just roll about, but then if he needs to see, he'll put them in his hands. Dude, you're going to hate it. Ashley, um, I showed the Ashley a picture mm-hmm. the pale man. She went, ah, oh, let's look at the thing at Hellboy. She's weirdly right at the yeah. um, I thought you were going to be way more mad uh, about that fact. I, I get it, though. Hellboy 2, the thing with the eyes on the yeah. point. And, uh, the angel of death, wasn't it? Those are, uh, they're still, they're both Gilmore and Totoro, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the original. Two, they're probably yeah. both played by Doug Jones. Um, what? <laughs> probably got a lot of Doug Jones as the performer, right? Doug Jones. Doug Jones played the pill man. He's the big fish in chicken oh. water. Um, oh, Abe, Abe Sapien. He's Abe Sapien, yeah. Ah. Cool. Right. Pill man. Pill man, yeah. Um, yeah, we see the pill man running at Ophelia very intently with, with uh, mm-hmm. persistence. She does not take him out. 
No. Because obviously she makes it through the door. By the pile of shoes. <laughs> oh. One of the most, yeah, simplistically horrific <laughs> moments of all time. Yes. Yeah, we can imply he's dangerous. Some of those movies, like, you, you just didn't expect it. Like, it just happens like, oh, wow. It's, that's yeah. that. Genius, genius love all making that. So, yeah, he's definitely dangerous, but is he take out Michael Myers dangerous? No. Tell you why. You're, if this goes, then you're going to get the point. I'm going to tie it up. Hmm. Michael Myers mm-hmm. has a knife. <laughs> yes. Pale Man is definitely... Uh, we're almost arguing the wrong word. <laughs> um, but Pale Man is... Uh, he's quick enough. You know? Yeah, he's quick enough. Okay. He's quick enough that... But he could probably And take... he's, he's, he's... I mean, he smells Ophelia. Michael could probably take... Like, get a few slashes that did, you know. I, I still think Michael wins this. Yes. I think I think it will be tougher than than we'd expect. But the thing is, Ophelia's a child. Yeah. Pale Man runs at Michael. He'd be like, good! Yes, I don't have yeah. to run! I was probably just about pfft, also, right to the f- forehead. If you're not looking at, at Michael, mm-hmm. he is quick. That's true, actually, yeah. We don't have... There's never been a full explanation as to what he no. can do. Um, unlike with Jason, where Jason can canonically just teleport. Yes. Um, because he's dead. <laughs> Apparently that's how dead things work. Yeah. <laughs> the you know that. <laughs> when you die, you teleport. But we don't really know what Michael does, but... Yeah. He stabby stabbies. The, the pale man is using his sense of smell. Mm-hmm. I don't know where Michael is in this room. <laughs> he's going he's to stab him. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> so the next fight coming up is the Anaconda from the Anaconda franchise. Another big snake. Not as big. But versus Pinhead from the Hellraiser franchise. Let's go flip this coin. I have tails. I'm taking yes! Him. I'm taking boy Pinhead. Yes! I'm taking the I'm taking the V, man. I'm taking the W. Okay. So You see like you have a point. Cool. Or you, do you want me to go first? You go this first. Thing? What can Pinhead do? Probably be dumb. Well Pin I get it, you don't like you don't like the how uh, uh Hellraiser. Good, because they're making a new one as well, that what worries me. Well they've been making Hellraiser for years. They never stopped. Watch, watch first too, personally, I think, if you want cool things. Anyway, Pinhead, well, Pinhead is, he's the leader of the, the um, oh man, I lose Something my horror, I, I lose my horror movie cred for Something forgetting morphs. this word. Yeah, um, Cenobite. Cenobite. Wow, I went, I was like, it's you not thinking, Xenomorph. Yeah, thinking Xenomorph. Xenobite, that's it, Xenobite. The Zen, yeah, he's the, yeah, the head Xenobite, in fact, in the movie Hellraiser, he is just credited as Head scene about mm-hmm. until they started naming them. Uh, so yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going final form, which means we're in. We're in their world, hell. <laughs> no, he's just he's just final form. We're not in hell. You can't put. Well, he's, he's, in not, hell. he's not in final form unless he's okay. Right, he gives up technically. Enough. He's got his abilities if he was. Right. Okay, what are his abilities if he's in hell? Apart from the hooks. Well, the hook is what way it manifests in the first movie. It, it, it's, it, it's torture. <laughs> he's looking at you and he's going, how am I torturing you? What's the best way to do that mm-hmm. for what you... The anaconda snake. <laughs> anaconda, they construct the body and then eat it. Yeah. AKA, he took out of a Hellraiser. But, but, but if, even if I just use the hook in this situation, right? Uh-huh. I've got two. Got one on the side of the anaconda. And then we tie it in a bowl. And I pick it up. And I just... Pick it up, would you? The anaconda. What? With the... It's on the hooks. Alright. You know, so I got that and I'm just like... I'm going to stab it. No, I'm just going to cut it in half. I hate this. I'm just going to cut the anaconda in half. I hate this. I'm just going to get a big knife. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> a chainsaw. You got it. <laughs> Ten head wins. Damn, I was uh, I was like, I don't think it should be a surprise to anyone that Pinhead beat the like anaconda. Four nil ahead. <laughs> right, uh, it's all in the flip. This is gonna be an interesting one. Yes, it will be. Cause yeah, this will be a fun one. I think the next one is Dracula. Dracula versus 
Beetlejuice. I'm not going to do an impression <laughs> of Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, please. I've come to suck your blood. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Tails. You got Beetlejuice. I got Beetlejuice. You suck. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Children of the night. Shut up. <laughs> it's from um, Dracula Dead and Loving It. Dracula, he is the, 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 the father of all vampires. He bites people. And can the original turn it about? Because some hmm. adaptations can turn into a bat. Yeah. Or and if you go to Blade Trinity's adaptation, it can turn into another human being. Not that. Um, Not that. Are we giving the bat? All right. So yeah, we know who Dracula is. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice from Tim Burton's all-time classic, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Michael Keaton with a wig. That's one of those few movies. Like, it, it's no one's favorite film, but I've never met anyone that doesn't like it. No, uh, it's such an easy film to yeah. put on. It's so good. Um, but yeah, Beetlejuice. Is see, this is weird. He's a dead guy. Yeah, but he's a dead guy. That, that is, stuff. he's mastered every version of haunting, so he can he can shape shift if he wants. He can he can control other people. Yeah. He can manip- He's a poltergeist. He can manipulate uh, objects around him. Yeah, he's just yeah. He's a ghost that has refused to move on for so long. He's just mastered. Every single yeah. way of messing with the living. Yep. Dracula's not living. <laughs> no, he's not. But would Beetlejuice be able to figure out a steak? It's also dumb. Who? Beetlejuice. He has really dumb. That is my big issue, is I'm like, as much as I could justify it, mm-hmm. Beetlejuice could totally just have a steak. Yeah. They could just get one. Because he's built, yeah, like he becomes a form. Yeah, he, he, he makes a wedding happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like <laughs> it's so weird describing scenes in built just someone that's never seen it. Yeah, <laughs> like, he just decides so to marry a Winona wedding. Ryder. He decides to marry Winona Ryder, who is a child. Um, yeah, a weird film. Um, Warning, <laughs> creepy. Um, Very. But I don't know if he would because I don't know if he'd go. I know what to do in this situation. I think he just, he'd yell at him a bunch. Mm. And I don't think he could possess him. No. I think, I think that's got a lot to do with your sort of being more weak-willed. But then, oh wait, Dracula can hypnotise. But can you hypnotise a corpse? I don't know. This is a weird fight. <laughs> I, I hate this. Because my instant approach here would be, Beetlejuice is going to want to... He's, he's going to want to psychologically break you down. Yeah. He's going to want to scare you. Uh-huh. How is he doing that to try? He's not, it's not he going to work. You know? But then, bam, Dracula's first sense is going, I'm going to suck your blood. You can't. He's not got any. Polar Ghost. Oh, no. <laughs> I had something I realised I'm wrong. What? I was going to say, can't Beetlejuice just lure him outside? Beetlejuice is also afraid of the outside. Yes. <laughs> so, no. Oh, you got something? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is really dumb, yeah, of course but I don't think you can argue against me. Okay. Okay, so as Beetlejuice, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to open a curtain and then get really small. <laughs> and then I win. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to open a curtain, we get really small and I'm going to be nowhere near the window. Okay. And then you're a pile of ashes. As Dracula, <laughs> but notice the sun, because it takes him a minute. Turn to bat. Pick you up. In that case, right? Instead of just opening the curtain, we open all the curtains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got this. And then we head under a table or something, so I don't have to look at it. It's annoying. I uh, just, I just. Dracula didn't seven, make it past the five. Woo woo. Dracula didn't make it past the heat. Speaking, oh God, what spe- the... speaking of dumb fights, do you want to introduce the next one? Yes, so we have Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise versus the Kraken. The Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> please, for the love of God, please get tails. Oh, you're not going to get tails, are you? You're going to get heads or something. <laughs> And this is the Kraken from the the Pirates of the Caribbean, not the Clash of Titans. And not 
Så där står det. The Book of Scientology. <laughs> Straight up fell at my head. That was a good flip. Yes, you got tails! Tails. Yes! I'm arguing for the Kraken. Yes! You'll, you'll see in a minute um, if you haven't cottoned on to why Ty is so excited. You'll, you'll see why when, once we start arguing here. Um, <laughs> What's this? I'm laughing. So I, my Kraken is a big fish. Um, it's an octopus. <laughs> he's um, splashing about. He's got a bunch of arms. Um, just say it. <laughs> so Freddy can manipulate you to think of your worst fear. What would be the Kraken's worst fear? Not being able to breathe. Because, <laughs> you know, lives in water. If it came out of water, it would die very quickly. And also, Johnny Depp is probably another one. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I say Freddy controls it to think it's out of water. Yeah, it's suffocate. <laughs> yeah. Or even make it kill itself. This is good. Yeah. Kraken's not smart enough to no. figure that out. Big ass squid. I take that in. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Next fight, interesting. The next fight coming in is the Predator from the Predator franchise versus Gozer from Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> tried to get tried to get the stape off Marshmallow <laughs> Man, but it didn't work. And um, so, oh, but yeah, Gozer controls the stape off Marshmallow Man. Flip that coin. Let's see who's tails. tails. You got Gozer. Gozer. Oh, you take the Predator. Okay. So. Does the Predator think? Does the Predator look at Goes and go, I could blow her up with a grenade. Easily. Oh, yeah. I could go invisible and break her neck. Or, you know, stick his little two-pronged thing right through the back of the neck. Predator can go invisible. Goes is a ghost. <laughs> Just want to... Goes had a human form. I thought it was a human form. It's a ghost. That's what they have to... Oh, yeah. At the end. Can't blow it up. Yeah, I'm not moving. I'll stay there. He also lives in a fridge. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, that's true. I'm scared. It's going to a Weezer fridge. A chair. Sometimes. I don't know, chair. Um, that's not helping the fight. That's just that's just color. That's just me going. Remember how good Ghostbusters was? <laughs> that was a no. good movie. That was okay. I like Ghostbusters. Second one sucked though. Second one's not good. No, there's not. There's one good Ghostbusters movie. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. So the Predator has and a and flurry and of weapons at his disposal and he loses. But I've also not justified immobilising the Predator yet. That's true, actually. Go. Cool. Okay, so uh, you mentioned the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, right? Yes. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man exists because Gozer latches onto your thoughts. Yes. So the, the, the Ghostbusters try and clear their minds so they can't torment them. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ray, played by Diana Croyd, can't help off. himself. He's thinking of marshmallows and a giant stay puff marshmallow. No, he man. said um, the only person that couldn't he- hurt us is a stay puff marshmallow. Man. I couldn't help myself. Uh, and then, <laughs> so what is the predator for fear? With the yeah, but even that is the predator thinking past killing what's in front of him. You know, nope. he he goes kill. Yeah. He just goes kill. He's like, what's your worst fear? Not killing just, you. Yeah. So, uh, unless unless he's fantasizing about Arnold <laughs> in this situation. Because he's just daydreaming about... I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger's characters' names, so they're all Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so, unless he's just sitting thinking about... Uh, Why would Arnold Schwarzenegger be involved? Well, he's just did. in Predator. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah. So unless unless predators just sitting there thinking about him, that's it's, <laughs> I don't think. Mm. But can you immobilize Gozer? With a proton, with four proton back. Um. Right. Those proton things. Those are made up of what though? What's the main stream? Is it not something to do with plasma? I feel like they hand wave that quite quickly. I have no idea. 
because Predator has plasma grenades. This is a tough one. Actually, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No. Goes as it goes. Correct. Correct. But, movie, she takes the form of a human mm-hmm. through Sigourney Weaver. Hence being sentient. Hence being vulnerable to in the back of the neck. Just think. And if Gozo, mm, yeah, see, this is that you bring up an interesting point here. If Gozo wants to mobilize the predator, mm-hmm. Gozo is going to need a human form. Yes. We established that here. But Gozo in a human form mm-hmm. becomes vulnerable, maybe not to death. But to immobilization, yep. at least. From Especially the because what happens when a predator goes down? He presses that button, self to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how he gives the predator them. Yes! I argued that predator beats a ghost. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> All tied up. Ooh, okay. Seven and seven. That is interesting. We have we have two yeah, left for place. this. So the next fight is Samara. Or as everyone probably knows, the girl from the ring when it comes out the TV, creepy, creepy TV girl. And versus it or Pennywise from from Stephen King's it. from the Stephen King's it Tim Curry version. Scars guys can go or or Bill Scars guys. No, Bill Scars guys can go away. Sucks. The same character. Tim Curry would do it way better though. That does, that, that doesn't affect this. <laughs> oh, just for that, I want tails. This affects I this. really want tails uh-huh. now. Huh? You got Boom, tails. tails. I've got it. You've got Samara. Great. <laughs> oh, wait. I wanted Samara anyway. <laughs> Dang it. I forgot that's who I wanted at the start. Yeah. Go on. Okay, so we got it. We've got another shapeshifter here. Mm-hmm. Much like the thing. Um, it eats fear. Mm-hmm. It, that's what nourishes it. So we're looking at what, what scares. Crap. 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 I Samara. become Samara's father. <laughs> right. Fine. You want scars guards? Fine. It, 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 Samara it. comes out the TV. Well, no, 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 no. Tim Curry said, "Then do one thing that scars guards did: the dumbass dance." And that is 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 pretty good in context. Okay. I like that scene. Samara, she's a dumbass dancing about. Does her but thing. It, you remember, <laughs> it and Pennywise are different. Huh? Pennywise the Dancing Clown was just a clown that existed. Uh-huh. But it, the base creature, yeah. Parasite, latched onto because it scared children. Right. He's going to notice quickly, Smart, I don't give a crap. And he's just going to he's gonna be Brian Cox. <laughs> I refuse to learn character names. <laughs> You know, it's annoying. is she going to go near her father after he threw her in a well? I mean, she could be really pissed at him. She is. So possibly, <laughs> That's yes. That's canonical. <laughs> she could probably think, oh wait, you're my dad. Good, I want to kill you. She is evil. Shit. She's, she's straight evil. She wants people to die. Yes. She wants to watch people die, which is why they threw her in a well. Hmm. But there's still enough trauma there. Yeah. I think... And again, I'm arguing this because I, I got tails on all the point. <laughs> I think you could justify it if you wouldn't want to go near the man that, like, killed her. Well. Yeah. The Ring is a dark movie, now that I think about it. Very dark. <laughs> it's a disturbing film. Then there's a Japanese version of it. Even more disturbing. Okay. <laughs> because mm, all, all Samara can do is just kill people. That's all she can do. Question. Mm-hmm. Does it become real if it becomes a person? Like, if it did become her father, would he become sentient? Um, no. He's still a parasite. He can he can change again and he can manipulate things around him from there, could if, if need be. Could it change quick enough that Samara couldn't do her thing? Just if 
You're going to justify Samara not being scared, essentially. Yes. Because canonically, this, at least the only way we've seen it become mobilized is through yeah, the or, Losers Club not being scared of him. Or being pissed off more than scared. Like, oh, that's my dad, he killed me. Oh, that's my dad, he killed me. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's a very large plan. <laughs> it's been all for a while. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Sure, I'm coming. I still, I still have a fear in that. Yeah, definitely. Though. 100%. Yeah, but I'm to like, like on to. Could she, like, within the time, just turn around and go, nah, I'm going to kill this dude? I don't know. I don't think so. You got it. Then we have to get on to it. <sighs> I mean, I'm happy I won the point, but I also really like talking about the ring. So, The next fight is Chucky, the possessed killer doll, versus the creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> from the movie of the same name. From the movie of the same name. You're really close to the is, I dropped the coin again. Okay. Um, this is, I this really is, don't want you to get hit. This is the last fight of the, the episode. Yes. And then we'll resume. Yeah, immediately for for us. Yeah. Uh, Not for them. Uh, uh, whenever I finish the edit for them. Some behind the scenes for y'all there. Da -da 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 -da. I'm I'm arguing for the creature. The creature from the back. Thank room. God, cause I don't know anything about him. I'm I'm a big I'm I'm a I'm a big humanoid fish. I'm a possessed. I'm done. Killer doll. <laughs> Step one for me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Come out of the water, obviously. Mm -hmm. I go over to Chucky. Mm -hmm. I pick him up like mm -hmm. a football. Mm -hmm. And I uh, punt him <laughs> into the sea. You're going to die. Yeah, but I can't see him. <laughs> <It's dull. laughs> it's going to take him a long time to get yeah. out of the sea. <laughs> He's going to just swim out and kick your ass <laughs> for some reason. Somehow pull a collect something really <laughs> sharp on the way. He's good at that. He's good at finding sharp Like objects. a lobster or something that just rips its claw off and goes, <laughs> comes at you with a lobster claw. My one strategy here is just kick Chucky as far away as I can. Okay, you like, a, like Ike Brovlosky in the first episode of South Park. Kick the baby. Kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. Kick, kick the baby. Fine, you kick him at the ocean. Kick the sea. <laughs> Chucky swimming back finds a lobster. Rips his claw off, comes up and stabs you in the throat. <laughs> Violently, very quickly. Why did I put Gilman on this? <laughs> Who did we knock out for Gilman? I don't know. I can't remember either. I think he's just so iconic. Yeah. It would have been, it's a good picture for We're going me. iconic, yeah. I keep dropping this 50 feet. Just put it on the table then. Ah, uh, you'd think that would be an option. It is an option. <laughs> so we give this a shaggy? Yeah. Nathan, it is all tied up. It's oh, it's something like that. Yeah. That is that's a good eight like, fights each. That's a good cliffhanger. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll pass back over to future me. Just wait. Can you give a message message to future Nathan? Future, future Nathan. You suck. Well, that was just mean, Ty. If, if I'm honest, that. That did hurt my feelings. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening slash watching. Watching, sorry, what? Yes, audio listeners, we have uh, done a little bit more editing than normal on the video version of this podcast. In fact, this part you're listening to right now, yes, this very part, the part where I'm just rambling, talking into the microphone, has indeed been filmed. If you want to see my sporadic hand gestures that you're used to on the Nathan Is Username channel while I'm talking into the microphone without a script. This is why I script things normally. It's the hands. It's the it's the rambling. It's the hands. And the whole hand joke that won't make any sense to you if you listen to this on Spotify. So do, if you feel the need to, subscribe to the Nathan Is Username channel. Although, wait a minute. If you're watching this on YouTube, Spotify. I'm mentioning Spotify. I've mentioned Spotify a few times now. That's right, everybody. What now? It's available on Spotify now. So do check the link in the description below to check out our fabulous Spotify page. Give us a follow. Go on, give us. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Go on, go. Push your own likes up there. We've, we've not got many.
please please follow us on spotify just please follow us on spotify it'd be so helpful but thanks guys for for watching slash listening slash just hanging out talking about movies talking about monsters with us it's a lot of fun we are indeed all tied up eight to eight you have to come back next time in the next episode is uploaded to see who wins between me and Ty. Who can argue the best? We're both S tier five guys, tier debaters. We're some we're some of the best at, at just arguing about things that do not matter. But which of us which of us does a better job in this one particular instance? This one this one time? Which one of us argues their way out of the situation the best? And probably more importantly, who indeed who is crowned the king of monsters? You'll have to come back and see. Until then, follow us on social media. Follow the podcast on Instagram at WhatNowPod. Follow me at Nathan Needs a Username. And do follow Ty at TyHennessy94. This would be a good time to start playing the, the theme music and just sort of fading out so that I don't embarrass myself more. Lost with an illegal head kick. Just saying. Okay, we can do. We can okay. do the credit kid another time.